This house has everything in excessive amounts. A glorious location, splendid views, generous proportions, every conceivable mod con, all the luxuries of a five-star hotel. Look, I really can't list them all. It's best to come and have a look. Let's start with the proportions. 720 square metres of floor space spread over five levels of sloping ground. An area that would comfortably hold three or four standard homes. I needn't point out how roomy this must be for the family of seven who live here. I'm on the street or top level at the moment, which is really only a garage and small entrance area. Now guests are encouraged to take off their shoes at this point and pop on a pair of slippers, which is a good idea because it saves all the dirt being traipsed through the house and it's nice and comfy. This is where you get your first glimpse of the location and view through the large expanse of sloping glass above. From street level, it's a short drop to level four, the main living area consisting of lounge, bar and family room, kitchen, double pantry and dining. It's hard not to notice the roof tiles above the dining room. They were imported from Italy and contain flecks of 24 karat gold. Doesn't everyone's darling? Off level four is a large veranda with automated blinds. These come in and out according to the sun and can be manually overridden. Only one problem, they almost break the sound barrier. Levels three and two house five bedrooms, a study, four bathrooms and another lounge. Level one, a rumpus room, indoor pool and spa, plus grassy outdoor area. Note the elegant granite-covered barbecue. While we're on level one, let's talk about the pool. Now only half of it is ever in sun at the one time because of the tinted barrel vault ceiling. It's heated, of course, and there's a built-in high-tech dehumidifier to stop condensation. Now these double-hung windows, the top ones let in the fresh air while the bottom ones are high enough to conform with pool fence regulations. The ground floor is fairly adaptable. It can serve as another guest suite and has an extra bathroom designed to freshen you up after a swim or a hard day sailing. As you can see, the water is a stone's throw away, reached by private jetty and pontoon. Jealous yet? Well, I've got more. All the tiled floors in the house are heated. There's ducted vacuuming, separate reverse cycle air conditioning, built-in ceiling speakers, purified water comes out of every tap, and all the 14 phones in the house double as an intercom. Lunch is ready, Rich. Invaluable, as you can see. Wallowing in these luxuries is all very well, but mention must surely be made of the architect Perry Fung, who masterminded his way through some extremely difficult site problems. For one, the slope. Now, if you come back here through the walk-in, you'll see that the hill has been sprayed with shotcrete, which helps to keep what is normally a wet soil stable. And below is a drainage trench to keep moisture from the house. And there's one of these on every floor. We could go on for hours about the high-tech lighting, but let's just say nothing's been overlooked. The lights for the whole house are turned off by a master switch. And thank God, who'd want to run around this place before bed?